I often uh, don't attempt what uh, I'm about to show you because there is a chance of failure. However, I promise if I do fail, I shall try and do so with dignity. Fair enough? Mm. They always say cut the cards. You've heard that expression. Absolutely. Always cut the cards. But if you think about it, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Because if you're playing with someone who's a card mechanic, who knows a deck of cards, and they see where you cut, that person could potentially undo what you did. All this is is an attempt to cut a deck of cards, but at a precise spot, a specific location. John, you'll help me with this by taking a card out. Doesn't matter what you get, you're going to write your name on it. Take one, I'll give you a marker for this purpose, a marker not to be confused with a magic wand. <laughs> now write your name not on the back, on the front. On the front. Well, I talked to Jennifer. So Jennifer, married or single? I am single. Single, me too. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh I see you noticed my friendship ring. <laughs> Just a friendship ring given to me by my wife. <laughs> my job now is to cut off exactly half the cards. Let's see if I get, no, I think I missed. I got about 25 cards, but I'm going to continue because I told you I would. In about 10 seconds, I will take a card and cut the deck. Attempting to cut the deck directly next to this card here. Not two above, not two below. We square the deck all around, cutting the cards. There's something you don't see every day. Definitely not. No way. I got the deck. Yes, you did. Yes, yes, you did. Literally. Right down to one card. John, do you remember what your card was? Six of hearts? Something of hearts. Six of hearts? I think. Thank God for that. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. Oh, the things. Thank you. Very nice. Amazing.